Muchas Hola. Sun. Hola, Sunday people. I say Sunday because I'm filming this on Saturday, but lately it's taken me a whole day to get mom to get it up. So, hola, Sunday people. Yeah, that's right. Read all the books. Um, that. What are you going to talk about today? My comics, Mom. Which ones? Read all the books. Have um have a lot of Animal Land to still go over, but for now these are the books we've read. I'm working on um I'm working on reading some Tarzan and other crap like that. Yeah. I've thought about maybe reviewing the actual book books that I, but this channel's kind of been exclusively comics for quite a while. So, let me know what you think. Um, Scarlet Spider was more memorable this week. More memorable. That's all you get. You don't get it's a great book. You get it was more memorable. I remembered what happened this time. That's sad though. That Don't you think, Mom? What? That the best I can say about this book. That it was memorable. It was more memorable. It wasn't like last week where I had no clue what. Well, yeah, but that one's better than uh, the Spider Family. Spider Family? She didn't like Spider Family. Spider Family for all. Yeah, I, I, I like. Uh, are you are you gonna let me do my video? Yeah. Okay, Spider Family for all those of you who don't know is what mom. And I call renew your vows. We don't call it Amazing Spider Man. This isn't a Spider Man book. It's Spider Family. It should be called Spider Family. Not not renew your vows. N none of that. And she didn't like it. Did you like it? I like the story, but yeah, otherwise than that, the art was, yeah, the art was, you were able to tell Annie and Mary Jane apart, though. That was a definite positive, right? Yeah, and in the beginning, it kind of shows how Annie grew up. Yeah, exactly. Remember, you were complaining about how you couldn't tell. Yeah, exactly. That they look, yeah. Like sisters, yeah. they at least fix that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, I guess I didn't. I didn't know the story because I haven't read the other one. The last. What? Maybe, or maybe you you just forgot. I, I don't know, but yeah, if they end up doing like a Renew Your Vows X-Men or Renew Your Vows Wolverine, Marvel, I think that'd be a great idea. Great idea, but because the villain at the end of this was an X-Men villain. Did you know that, Mom? Mm -hmm. 
not. Yeah. It, he was X Men. Kind of reminds me of. Um, they um, even. They even hinted at him in, like, Apocalypse, I think it was. Yeah. He's going to come on. Um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't read the book yet. Because, you know, I don't want to be that guy. But, Renew Your Vows, in my opinion, let's give it a three. I don't do ratings, but if I did... Three. We just did a I I don't do ratings, but if I did three, three of a scale of like five. So it was a, it, it wasn't the best book, but it wasn't horrible. No, just like it wasn't yeah. Anyway. Um. I like the, the other uh, Spider-Man. Uh, uh, Scarlet Spider? Yeah, the way they showed that there's uh, more than one Scarlet Spider. Yeah. But a couple of the spiders I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know Ricochet at first. Aaron's the one that pointed that out to me, that the man's name's Ricochet. I used to call him White Spider Guy. <laughs> Yeah. You know who I think of when I think Ricochet? Um, I think, I think, um, Mucha Lucha. Remember Ricochet? Yes, I remember Mucha Lucha. That was, I like that. Remember Ricochet and the Flea and Buena Girl? Yes. Yeah, that's my Ricochet. <laughs> Not this white spider guy guy. No. Yeah, but that but still that story was better than but, in my opinion. In your opinion. Which I disagree with. But okay. okay. Uh, I mean it it was memorable. I'll give it that. Yeah. Anyway, I guess we did two books in that one shot. Two books at once. Sorry about that. Let's do Blue Beetle next, Mom. What did you think of Blue Beetle? Um, blue. They had that clock thing that you didn't seem to... It took us a couple of readings to figure out what the part is. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, the one where it didn't have numbers, but... You were like, okay, this happened at 4.30. Oh, yeah, yeah, when he was jumping back and forth, or when they were doing, um, yeah. Yeah, I need to look up if that, this is going to be the last issue of Blue Beetle. Because if, if this was... Why would it be the last issue? Because, because they said that they're ca canceling Blue Beetle either oh, on... I, I, didn't, I didn't know that, okay. I've told you that numerous times. <laughs> Every time you come up with, oh, we should remove something from your box. Oh, yeah, Mom, this is going to be done. This is going to be done soon. So, I don't know if this or the next one's going to be the last Blue Beetle. But, this was an okay issue to end on. Wasn't great, just... Okay. It didn't have Ted in it. I like Ted. Just saying, DC. Explain why Ted's still alive. Do it. I know it had something to do with the Black Beetle. I know it had something to do with the fact that... That, um... Booster Gold brought him back or something. But... You don't just... Almost... You don't just get shot in the face and make it out okay. No. Explain why Ted's back. That's what I want to see if there's a next issue. Explain why Ted's back. Anyway. Blue Beetle. It was an okay book. 
Mom didn't understand it because I've been reading the other issues with Grandma, and, well, that confused the crap out of her. So, that's that. And with that, I still have one more book to read, which means one more book for next week. Um, this has been The World According to Bob. Happy Sunday. Bob out. <sighs> yeah, I did a good job even though I was sick, right, Mom? Did I mess you up? Did I need to be quiet or screw again? No.